Hello once again from the cockpit of our F4 Phantom. It's a uh, PJ again, or you might want to call me PJ. It's up to you. I will respond to both. And uh, from the VSN team again, F4 Phantom sitting at the runway at Anderson Air Force Base, and we'll just go over the uh, new stuff that we added for the upcoming update in the front console. The right console we had last time. Now we're going to the front console and we start with the biggie. This is the NAV uh, console, the, the frontal NAV console, which is pretty important. On the left side you've got the uh, navigation switch with the three positions, Tarkan, ADF and NAVCOM. On the right side you've got the uh, NAV rotary with uh, four positions, ATT, heading, Tarkan and NAVCOM. Let's start on the left side, uh, shall we? The enough switch. When you uh, just leave it like that, that is the standard um, setup, it's in Tarkan mode. Tarkan mode, you might remember, is going to get dialed in here. Um, and to uh, activate it, you need to switch the rotary to track and receive. And receive will only get a um, heading information, track and receive, you get heading and distance information. And now we are going to have a little quick look at the F10 map. So we are at Anderson Air Force Base and uh, we just take a look which one of those bases has Tarkan and I bet it's the only one that has Tarkan is Anderson Air Force Base which would be just just so sweet. Yeah, it's just like that. Perfect. Uh, so we c cannot really show you Tarkan right now because it will just show us the heading to the center of the airfield I guess here so it should switch a little bit to the right we'll just try it anyways and of course should know what the Tarkan is Tarkan is 54 x-ray so we'll just go in the Tarkan panel and switch to 50 and X-ray is already there, and you said what happens. You already saw what happened. The needle just moved to the right, and you got a chorus, and you got a distance. So chorus is zero seven zero, and distance is one mile because it's the center of the airfield. Once again, I just switch it to another position. See. No miles, no cores, needle straight ahead. If I switch it to 54 X-ray, we've got slider to the right, 070, one mile, and that's how that works. Okay, when you change the values in this um, Tarkan console, you will get different values. Here, of course, not every airfield has a Tarkan, but if you have a Tarkan, you get this information. It's important to understand that the nav switch will work like it gets the information from the navigational system to the needle. So always when you switch here, you manipulate the needle and the needle shows you, for example, right now we uh, heading to the, ta to the next, uh, to the chosen Tarkan. And Tarkan will always get you the miles and the cores if you have transmit receive. If you only get a receive, you will only get cores but not miles. Okay, pretty straightforward. Alright, then let's move on to the next one. So if we switch to ADF right now, we will have uh, possibly noth nothing because on 264 there should not be any ADF. So and remember, here it is kilohertz, it's not megahertz. So that is a bit different. Uh, let's take a look uh, at the F10 map and let's look for a nice ADF. Um, hopefully we'll find one around here somewhere. There is one. That's not an ADF. Here is an ADF, 385 kilohertz. All right, 385 kilohertz. So let's go 385 kilohertz. Uh, ADF and F is uh, switched, so it is 
manual selection and now if we switch to ADF it should go all the way back here somewhere let's see if that happens yeah see that happens we uh, switched to the ADF and that is the uh, heading we would have to fly to get to the ADF back to the Tarkan Oops. Back to the Tarkan, the uh, needle here, course and miles, and to the ADF. ADF will only give you the um, direction through the needle. It won't manipulate course or miles, the wi those two windows, because the um, information is not that dense as in Tarkan navigation. All right. If we go to the next one, Navcomp, um, that is pretty. I think it might be the one that is most important for almost uh, everybody who is going to fly the F4 because it has a 12 point uh, waypoint navigation in the navigation computer. So um, that is the waypoints you are going to set in the mission editor and you will have the possibility to uh, recall 12 of those. So uh, the first one is always waypoint zero on the mission editor so if you set your plane on uh, on an airfield that is normally waypoint zero and this waypoint zero will be shown here as waypoint one okay so we just switch this up to um, navcom and you see um, right now we've got waypoint zero so that is nothing we switch to waypoint one okay I just um, missed out on that one sorry um, just got a little confused you have a uh, waypoint zero is your starting waypoint waypoint one is waypoint one so that's how, how it works because if I switch to waypoint one I get uh, one on the course it's not course zero zero one degree it is the first waypoint we need to uh, display the waypoint somewhere um, since the F4 is a two-seater normally all that stuff would be done in the back uh, so we need to manipulate uh, a few possibilities to just get you the information so we just took the course window and there it is uh, that course 001 it's a uh, waypoint number one waypoint number one is 22 nautical miles away and it is yeah 045 something okay so we just cross check that with F10 just move out again and you can't see it here but I set the waypoint around here and then the, the second waypoint will be on northwest field so that should be northwest field should be from our position 31044 miles let's see if that happens Yeah, four miles, three one zero approximately. So we are on the right way here. Okay. So far to the navigation switch. Can bring that back to ADF, and then we'll ju I'll just show you the ATT heading Tarkan and Nav Comp possibilities from the navigation rotational ATT which is standardized switched in will give you the veering to the magnetic course so the deviation from your course to the magnetic course will always be shown, always be shown if the rotation is at ATT through this white little bug uh, the white little bug just moves around the HSI and right now it shows you just the deviation to magnetic from your course to magnetic course okay if we go to heading that's a little bit uh, special heading is always uh, defaults to due north and heading is the possibility to set your desired heading um, why do we want to set your desired heading pretty easy if you kind of think about it um, and you have a let's say the Tarkan of our airfield which would be 
this one so you get the uh, bearing needle or the the the, the uh, navigation needle that points to your Tarkan source which will be an airfield you have the distance you have the course to the Tarkan source and if you're um, pretty handy you can just take a look at the F10 map and you would see that uh, the um, and as an Air Force base has a runway which is running more or less in that direction which is 067 degrees so you could for example just go to the heading knob and set the heading back to 067 degrees which would be something like this maybe and right now if you're going to approach and as an air force base you will have your uh, navigation needle moving and you know exactly which course you should end up to line up on your runway so if you approach from the side then you know exactly okay right now it's time to turn when you want to end up at 067 and right ahead on the runway so the needle needs to be straight and the 067 the bug needs to be right up here then you're going straight down the runway so it's like an poor man's ILS or something like that so but it might help in that way of course you can use it other uh, ways as well but um, oh, anyways all right moving that uh, back to uh, due north a little quick because the video is getting lengthy again and having it right there that's default it's the ATT that's the heading again due north if you switch this to Tarkan the heading bug will show the same direction as the navigation needle because you got navigation switch Tarkan navigation needle Tarkan and what's down here will be the same because you just get both okay so you just uh, the, the, the interesting thing is not to have both on the same but to have both different to have the most to get the most out of your navigation equipment and of course if you go to navcomp you will have waypoint zero waypoint zero is right here it's zero miles away and that is your home base again if you switch here it will the uh, navcomp will override the other sources for your miles and course because as i said before it is in my opinion the most important navigational aid you have because normally waypoints are preset and you might just want to fly to your waypoints that is normally the thing i think is uh, it's, it's critical to have those at hand and if you kind of uh, mess with the switches and then something else shows here you get might get confused so we just did it like that if the uh, same functionality was given in the real uh, uh, phantom honestly we don't know um, there is a chart that says what was shown when which switch was set to what but if two things just went for the same um, indications I don't know what happened uh, I didn't find it out so uh, we just made it like that and we hope that that helps you a lot we are again in 14 minutes into the video that is long enough so we just 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 stay here it's just the navigational frontal console the navigational switch navigational rotation and the course set switch and the heading switch and that's it and i think we got enough for this video i hope uh, you enjoyed it i hope you can uh, use it and uh, it makes the 
F4 or flying the F4 a little bit more fun when you know <laughs> where you're going and don't have to look out of the window all the time. Thanks again for everybody who's watching. Thanks again to all the guys that helped us uh, getting the F4 to this state. And I hope you will enjoy the update. See you on the next video. Your VSN team. Cheers!